Okay, so the next technique we're going to do is a PCV, which stands for pack cell volume. Um, and what this is basically going to allow us to do is to take our total sample um, and put it in a centrifuge and spin it down um, to allow for the solid part of the blood to separate from the fluid part of the blood. Um, and this is basically going to allow us to, to see how concentrated or how much uh, solids or how many red blood cells we have in our sample um, and what we normally expect there to be is a good ratio between uh, fluid and solid. Um, if for example our patient has a very low level of fluid compared to solid that would suggest they're dehydrated. Um, equally if we have very very few red blood cells and a loss of fluid again that can uh, indicate some kind of complication which in most cases would be blood loss or a lack of red blood cell production. So what we need for this task, um, again, create a little bit of a, I've just popped some paper towel on there just to create a clean working environment. Um, but for this uh, particular uh, test, we just need our hematocrits, which again, this time we're going to use our, um, our uh, clear, clear or our non-coagulated uh, hematocrits. So these are completely uh, neutral. They don't have any anticoagulant with them. And again, we're using the blue lid. Um, We've got our blood sample, uh, so again we've, we've previously inverted it so it's now nice and constituted. Um, and what we're going to use um, is some uh, hematocrit putty in this instance, uh, which is going to provide an obstruction or a plug for the end of our sample. So what we want to do is take a hematocrit out of the tube and pop it onto our work surface and again seal the pot so that we're not going to cause contamination or further problems. That can go to one side. Um, and using the same technique as before, um, this is going to create a vacuum. So once we place this into our sample, the blood should come up the tube nice and easily. Um, but once we've got to about two thirds of our sample, we want to put our finger over the end uh, to make sure that we're not going to lose our blood. Now for this particular test, we are going to use what's called um, a Hawksley reader, which looks like this. Um, and as you can see, we have got a scale up the side. So we want to make sure that we have enough blood to fit that. Um, and what you can do before, if you are concerned, um, is you can basically place your hematocrit tube up along the side to be able to see uh, roughly whereabouts two thirds is going to be. Um, but with this, I know that we can just fill it up to two thirds. So taking the lid off the sample, Again, be careful not to contaminate yourself with your workbench. We're going to place it into our blood tube and just wait a little bit of time, but it's relatively quick for our blood to migrate up the tube. So a couple more seconds. It's coming up nicely. There we go. And again, pop the lid on your blood tube. We don't want to contaminate our environment. And what you want to do is just grab some paper towel and just clean the outside of the hematocrit tube. Again, just to avoid further contamination. And we then want to get our putty. Um, and just placing our hematocrit into our putty, give it a couple of spins as you can see. And what you're aiming for now is a nice clear plug at the end of your tube, which now means your blood sample isn't going to go anywhere. So just pop that in your putty and you're ready to go.